One of the coolest features of astronomy is simply the notion that looking out into space is also looking back into time. Because the speed of light is really, really fast, but it's still finite. So that light can only travel a certain amount of distance every year. And we call that distance a light year. It's the distance light can travel in a year. The universe is so big that it's 13, more than 13 billion light years across. Which means that when you look out toward the edge of the universe, you're seeing things as they were 13 billion years ago. So as we look out into space, we're seeing things as they were long ago as they were developing. Now, a galaxy doesn't change much over 100 million years. Matter of fact, it takes 200 million years for our galaxy to rotate once, okay? Our sun will orbit the center of the galaxy every 200, 250 million years. But when you start talking billions of years, then galaxies change. And that's one of the key things we see in the deep field. One of the things that makes the deep field one of the most important images we've ever taken is that you see galaxies at different distances and therefore at different times in the universe. So we look into this one image and we can see galaxies as they are today, as they were five billion years ago when they were you know, mostly developed but not fully developed. Then you can see back to the teenage years of galaxies and the elementary school years and even down into the childhood ages of galaxies. We can see the development of galaxies across time by studying galaxies at different distances in the deep field image. And this is something that was revolutionized by the Hubble Deep Field in 1995. We had never had a high resolution image where we could see all these galaxies out to these great distances. And with the follow on deep field images, we've revolutionized the understanding of the development of galaxies throughout the universe. So we can see that billion year history of the development of galaxies over time in these deep field images.